Yes, it is that time. The AFL is back. The greatest sport in the world, according to some people, including myself. Now, this week's fixtures, there aren't many, so it's going to be a nice short video. Now, remember, each week we tip who we think are going to win and by how much. So, if you haven't already, in the description, there is a link to our Super Brew competition. So, get joining in before it's too late. Is it normally only four games? I don't know if my memory is deceiving me, but that is all we have this week. And we start with an absolute banger because we go to the Sydney Cricket Ground for Sydney Swans versus Melbourne Demons. What a cracking way to start the season. I, like everyone is so excited for the AFL. Bam, hit you with that match. Now, I did say last year that I had to pick Swans pretty much, well, yeah, every game, and they really, really let me down. But I'm hoping they're going to be more consistent this year, less injuries. They've got now a consistent number one with Grundy, a consistent Ruckman. So that hopefully is going to really solidify the team. Now, what people have been telling me, the Ds are now struggling a little bit. Yes, they've got Gorn, who is amazing, but... You know, he can't necessarily do it all himself. I still think they'll easily make top eight. I think I've got to look at my original predictions that I did last week for the final table. But first game of the season can really spring some surprises, right? It can it can cause some shocks. But I think I have to go with, with my Sydney Swans. I'm going to do Sydney by two clear goals. So by 12 points. I think that's... I think that's fair. They're at home. They've got the advantage. Hopefully they are looking up. The Ds are looking down. And hopefully we're going to see a strong start from Sydney. Then on Friday the 8th, we have Brisbane Lions versus Carlton at the Gabba. Now, I think this is a massive advantage for Brisbane. Another good game, hopefully. I'm not going to say anything bad about Carlton. Uh, they finished the season last last season very, very well. But obviously Brisbane, they were the finalists. They didn't win, but they were the finalists. But they seem to do so well at home. I think we all know this. If you play Brisbane at home, the amount of comments I had last year, if ever I tipped the other team, the away team, when Brisbane were playing at home, people were like, no, no, no. Brisbane always win at home. They don't always win at home, but they do play very well. So... I'm going to go with Brisbane, and I'm going to do them by three goals. That might sound harsh on Carlton, but I've just taken into account finalists last year at the home ground, at the Gabba, and I think that is probably a fairly good pick, so I'm going to go with that. Saturday the 9th, we then have at the Carra, or at Carra, uh, in Carra, Gold Coast Suns versus Richmond. Now... Gold Coast Suns, this is a team that I did put down the bottom of the table when I did my prediction league, but I did also caveat with saying I may be completely wrong. Lots of comments said they will do well this season, but who knows? Who knows? No one expected Port Adelaide to do as well as they did last season, so we don't know. But I just don't see enough from Richmond. You know, they're, Richmond are playing away. They're not in, in Melbourne or Victoria. So I'm going to go with a strong start for, for the Gold Coast Suns. I promise it's not just home teams. I promise. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Gold Coast, they do have some excitement about them. And I don't think Richmond have enough players to rely on. You know, Dusty, for example, and Shybot. And I don't think that's enough for them to win them enough games. So, Gold Coast, I think it'll... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to do a close one. I'm going to do Gold Coast by six. I don't think it'll be a huge win. I think Richmond will have enough to keep it close. But Gold Coast should potentially win it just, just about. Then the last game is the at the Giants Stadium in Sydney. It is the GWS Giants versus... Collingwood Magpies. Now, GWS, wow, they finished so well last year. They hit some serious form at the end of the season. It was impressive to watch. Collingwood, obviously, they won the whole thing last year. I don't necessarily see Collingwood being too far off. It, this is a result that could go either way, actually. 
Um, I know, I, well, I would assume Collingwood are the favourites, although they are playing away from home. I, oh, this is a difficult one. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go with Pies. I think I'm going to go with the Pies by 12. Yeah, I'm going to do the Pies by two goals, and then... Um, We'll see how it goes. Like I said, it could spring up some real shocks. For all I know, Carlton could beat Brisbane. Richmond could beat Gold Coast. And Giants could beat Collingwood. It's one of those weeks that you just don't know. And they are some pretty close teams. So they are my picks for this week. Wow, what a tricky week to do. Um, hopefully I will do well, but I want you guys to join in too. We have got over 60 people at the moment on the Super Brew competition. The link will be down below or in my Discord server, so check it out and join in. It's a really fun way. Like I said, it's not just about who wins and who loses, like some of the Australian, like ESPN and whatnot. It actually involves picking how much they're gonna win by and you get points with how close you are. If you're exact, you get even more points. So it's a more fun way of just getting involved. So please make sure you join. Each week, we're gonna work out how I did. We're gonna work out how everyone else is doing in the league table, and then picking the following week. So make sure you join each week of the season. It should be fantastic. Hopefully we'll be doing plenty of live watch alongs as well, watching some games. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.